So I've been wanting to play this game for a while actually uh, because I never actually managed to play the first original Mafia. I've played Mafia 1, uh, sorry, I've played Mafia 2 and Mafia 3. Mafia 2 was great, I loved it so much, but Mafia 3 wasn't all that, it felt a bit repetitive. Uh, so I'm hoping this one's good, I've heard a lot of good things about it. And I'm going to get into it in a second, but if you are new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and also hit the like button. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, I really appreciate it, thank you so much. But we'll get straight into it. I'm not going to talk on cutscenes, so I'm going to keep it as immersive as possible. But if you do enjoy, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Let's get into it. Um, we will go uh, basic challenge. We'll go medium. Um, I've aim assist low. Let's just put aim assist on because I am on PC just to let you know, and I'm actually not the best. Uh, we'll just leave everything else uh, normal. Start, sorry. Okay. Let me just make sure driving mode regular, transmission automatic, police response regular, skip drive off, aim assist high. Alright, let's get into this. Tommy, Thomas Angelo, Detective Norman. You alone, 
<laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just a coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, you said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. But if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you a Borello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up? Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail, and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Boss. Yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Christ, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. They catch up, we're dead. But you don't get to walk away. I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble. Drive. How the hell did they know we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just got to lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? One for now. But there will be more. Hold tight. I'm going to try something. Yeah! Who were those guys? You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. Your leg okay up there? 
hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know, it might be okay. He's getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, cabby. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing... You got a death wish or something? All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. I'll just speak off the... I would say it looks like the... No, we need the pots. More of them! Ah, shit! Now you're done! <laughs> I know some shortcuts that'll slow him down. I don't care how you do it. Just shake him off. <laughs> that was your shortcut? I lost him, didn't I? Not all of them! These guys really don't like you, do they? Sometimes business partners fall out. It happens. Quit yapping, Polly. The more he knows, the more chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. Ha <laughs> ha! You left him in the dirt! We ain't clear yet! Keep driving! Okay, nice. Uh, I guess we're, we've got so many different ways to go. I guess I can just go all the way around here and through there. I'm guessing these are points where we get rid of the enemies, find ways to lose your tail, yeah. So if we turn left at the next road and then right, not the next one, the one after and then right, and then left again, unless, I, I'm just going to go around the whole thing and then left there and then left again. That makes more sense. So one, two, three. Poor bastards digging the road for the work <coughs> program aren't going to thank us for this. Three crates down. How many motors were at the exchange? Four. Five, maybe? They know with him, he's called for more. Sure feels like it. Next time, we take more muscle. We should have expected trouble. When the boss hears about this, there'll be hell to pay. Give you that. <clears throat> they must have sent word out. There's more and more of them. Oh, we're not gonna last so long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. <laughs> I thought we had to restart there because we were kind of stuck. Let's try that again. West Harbor Bridge, Cabby, fast! I'm trying to talk as less as possible with the talk, so you don't miss But this game is actually beautiful, I've seen all of this. This looks so good. Cool. We need to uh, retake this game, the ground up, just new cutscenes and everything. Ah, uh, the bridge is up, ain't it? Yeah, we can make it. Oh no. <laughs> what the just... hell are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. Never done that before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now, your night's not over. I didn't see this coming. You think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. Yeah, I think I need to drive normally on these loop chairs, you know. Uh, do we have petrol on this one? Yeah, we do. So we have petrol in market. Okay, we're close. Pull over in front of that bar. To the Aries place. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not?
compensation for your services, any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. <sighs> One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. See you around, kid. When I opened the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. Man, this feels like a movie. It's so good, these graphics. I'm actually loving it, the way it's full of cutscenes and stuff. Uh, let's get into the next mission, a chapter you, an offer you can't refuse. The way it's, uh, he's talking from the future about the past. I love it when uh, shows and movies are like that, so this is going to be great. Running man. Right, I'm going to keep quiet during the cutscenes. After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. Nice, we're getting straight into it here. This game is just beautiful. Have you seen this? Hurry right, up, I have an appointment. All right, woman. <laughs> so where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. I have to abide by the uh, laws. Careful, uh, please. I us. always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. I have to turn on the speed. Ah, okay, that tells me how fast I am allowed to go. Stay in the left lane here, please be careful. I abide by all the laws. Turn that racket off. I can't hear myself think. Or to turn off the radio. Okay, it's so just giving us a little talk to you. That's much better. I'm gonna keep the limit on, so I don't So, church. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. You know what? That's for explores here. Nobody's seen us do a thing. Oh, no, the police officer right there. I think the limit just stops me from going up the speed. Yeah, so it basically stops me from going above the speed. I might turn that off, but there is a police officer behind me right now, so I'm gonna keep it on for a second until we get out of the area. And uh, also, if you do want uh, to see it on uh, with the controller, because uh, the, ma the keyboard is quite clicky, you let me know. Let's turn off the limit. Yeah. Okay. Stop there, by the park. Here you go, St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure, whatever you say. Better find a new fare. 
side of the drawer that we're supposed to be driving on the left or right. But I will see if you do find the keyboard too clicky and my mouse moves quite a bit like this. Let me know if I can for changing from controller. Because I do have a controller. We'll go away from it, please. We'll go on that. That was close. I'm gonna let you know I'm not the best on PC. Art gallery. Give me that quick. Sure. Quick I can do. Oh no. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive. So do that. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Sold up before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Here's 50 cents. I don't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, that when I'm moving corners and stuff, it's probably so if you don't like that, just let me know. Hey, Dad! I will, uh, use the controller. And also, if the keyboard is. Uh, oh boy, you look like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Come see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <clears throat> this city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. I'm trying to keep it slow when the police officer's there. Keep it to the speed limit. But other than that, I'm going to stay uh, on a high speed. So I'm guessing uh, the recession happened. The depression. Oh, sh The traction on these cars is nasty, man. It takes years to slow down. I know the space is the hotel, but he uses it with all. Let's get past this truck. Nearly there. It's up here on, on the corner, please. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. I'm giving a mission here. What? 
Jesus. Oh. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help in Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much walking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. We got a chase here. Let's go. Left shift this way. Left shift. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm so bad with the keyboard. No, no, I'm gonna die here. That was a fair space of it. All we wanna do is talk, Cabby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Looks like we're gonna have to get help from uh, Salieri. <laughs> Oh, I got the bargain. I got deals. <laughs> Who's gonna buy from me today? He said to me at three. Hopefully we don't lose anyone. Let's go through here. This game is actually very good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That was close. Do you have a stamina bar? Look at this. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you gotta say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. Thanks. At least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. Nice, that was interesting. So it looks like we're getting involved further and further into the gang. Uh, let's just keep going, steaming through these. This video may be a bit long, but uh, we're going to try and get this game completed as fast as possible for you guys. If you are enjoying, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and the like button. Molotov Party, 1930. What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi, that's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You're gonna ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down.
and Tommy. When you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. Okay, so that's boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> uh, we know. Don Salieri, I'm writing to let you know of my joy that you'll be attending the wedding of my daughter. Please, if there are any further arrangements you wish for, let me know. Um... Okay, it looks like his daughter's having a wedding, which will probably be going to see Find anything good? <laughs> nah, I... Well, I'm watching you. Are you it? gonna drive the boss? I get it. Nah, you don't lose your job that easy. I hate sitting around. Boring as hell. If the boss says you're not ready to come out on collections, what can you do? I don't get what his problem is with me, Polly. What do you I think just I want to talk do over the... Get yeah, Prohibition here to stay. I thought that was Winston Churchill for a second. Production and sale of alcohol to remain illegal. Yeah, Herbert Hoover. Okay. That's it, recording? Ah, see, sí. see. Sí. Looks like we got the cards. I don't know if the books are still going to be in there. Had uh, some interesting stuff in them, the magazines. The bars are closed for you, I'm afraid. Come back later with Polly or Sam. I guess we don't have the uh, notoriety yet. Or whatever you want to call it. The. Uh, we've seen this right here. Alright, let's go back to this guy. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever like we need this. to do any uh, heavy lifting. Let's make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. We're grateful for his dough. But we this gotta go. Beautiful. Long drive back north. Guys. I haven't played the mafia in a while. We can learn. That'd be good. Move into the city this morning. Thought I saw the cops on every corner. He's trying to keep quiet. Pagona Vitenzo! Ciao, Polly! Oh, she's gonna sing! <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or rods? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with him, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> nice. Good one. to meet you, Todd. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Here we go. We've got one of those magazines, but <laughs> I don't think we can open these. Come back and see me later if the boys don't scare you away. So I'll I'm fix you with a gap. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got away with cars. I don't get how this moron gets engines to burn. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Hey, genius! <laughs> get your head out of your ass! <laughs> Fuck there, P -P Polly. You can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sh -sh -sh sure, up, Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. Like I said. Ralphie here's a crack deck. But you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 rod, but it, it'll get you across the to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. 
<laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. <laughs> I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Hey, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. This thing's a tin can. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep, new supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. We're okay, as long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, you want a bottle? Just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but... Not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the- Hey! It's their cars we're wrecking today, not this junker. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble, says the guy who's about to send fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit them so hard they don't remember it. Go on, police officer. Trying to abide by the rules. This car is a piece of trash, as I said. It's slow as well. Let's go. I don't think this walking police We're getting onto Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in the wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. I I guess we'll okay, it's cars. close by. Something's gonna go wrong. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. <laughs> nice for my... I... Once I've got first proper bit of action, I don't think Gabe, we're gonna be shooting anyone. Go quiet. You know how to go quiet, right? Job, yeah, so. like that. Yeah, he's got his main guys. You'll get there someday. I wanna shoot some people up. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Guess we're good. We'll be jumping over this way. Maybe over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump them from behind. I'm real good at distracting. It's the best yeah. thing here. Ah, the boss gets plenty of guys in this city real pissed. Thanks and careful. Thanks, I'm gonna kill out this guy. Ah, uh, he's good. Hey! What the hell you doing? What, what do you mean, what am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? Who are you? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town trying to give Morello a black eye, and Dino makes you guard the cars? Yeah. Hey, just like that. I got it. Nice one. Yeah, I need to turn the motion blur off, because there was a bit of motion blur there. I don't know if you guys would like Well, let's get to these cars. Motion blur. Take it back and start swinging. Uh, hold on the weapon wheel and use... Uh, okay. 
interesting weapon we have. Yeah, how does this work? Come on! Here! Wait. Oh, it's the mouse I move, not the middle mouse button, okay. I was trying to move the middle mouse button, trying to do it, but it wasn't working. Right, let's destroy these cars. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> back, Tom. <laughs> look on these books' faces, is gonna be priceless. <laughs> let's... Uh, the graphics for breaking them is actually pretty sick. That is so destroying me. Ah, crap! Hey, get away from the car! Knock him down, timer! You for the charge. You got some kind of death wish? Hmm? I need to press left. Oh, there we go. Hey, son of a! Yeah. Come on, Tom, quick! There's gonna be more of them. Use a Molotov and let's see some flames. Hold G to aim a Molotov and throw. There we go. Burn that car. Love burn your this work. Car. Let's get the heck out of here. We love the smell of burning paintwork. Whole block her dead. Whole cube. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? I'm gonna know where he keeps. Reports of burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. Take... <laughs> it's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Old ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! There Don't let him get away! Drive! Come back! Drive! Oh, Don't get him! Ah, shit. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? You lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Stay out of sight. Wasn't clear. All right, I didn't, I didn't get that. Let's try and stay away. We were, we were actually away from the police officers, which is uh, why. Okay, we lost the guy. Careful, Tom. We don't need more heat. Let's try and get out of here fast. Get out of here and get to San Diego. I don't know why they're not showing back hours. Uh, let's just go straight. Drive right, safe. <laughs> they're still looking for us. Drive, Tom! Drive! All officers, search is called off. Repeat We're back. good. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Salieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. Okay, so I guess we don't have the cops on our side. How did it feel? Feel good? How would what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? There's life? What's it to you? Drive careful, we don't need the attention. Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beep motors in parking lots. Eh, there's busy days, there's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to- Geez, watch the road! I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle or- Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made, or you like Carlo, whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. But there's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, 
Then we tip a few. Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. Up of a better car with a, a broken window? Russia ain't never killed nobody. <laughs> I'm loving this game, man. I'm guessing we're gonna get into a quick scene here. He's still with you then. Somehow, yeah. Hey boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella, he's a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. Nice, so we've made it into the family. Looks like... Uh... We're moving up in the world. Let's carry on to the Molotov party. This might be the last mission I do because the video is getting quite long. Oh no, we're on the ordinary route. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on. I got what did you I know? Finish it all. You, Tommy? Come on, this yeah. Gas in your tank. Boss is back. waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks. Ignora quel idiota. Arrenditi. Ah, potrai combattere ancora. It's like we've been here for a while. We've been growing the ranks. It's nothing new to grab here. There he is. Sorry, I'm late. Take a seat. That's collection day, boys. 
So, Tommy, you'll drive. Polly and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, oh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Let's Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Just gonna see if there's anything we can pick up here. Deliveries have gone out, so we're running kind of low for the bar. There's an exchange tonight. No need to worry. I gotta go to the market for the legal stuff, too. Huh. I'll get you some money from the dump. I like collecting everything I possibly can. Right, uh, let's go through here. They did add more missions and more cutscenes and everything to this. So it's definitely worth buying if you are thinking from what I've seen so far. So we are going to get a car from there, but today, first... Okay? Spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still cool. fenced since he lost the cars. Ah, what's losing some motors to him? He's got at least five garages this side. Hey, just the guy. I saw this. And I thought of you. Nice, we got a gun. You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right, that don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good posture, real bang. Brain all up the walls, okay? Now show him. Not at me, you moron. I right, open the chamber and away you go. All right, few books. last thing. <laughs> Needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss is Vincenzo. To you, it's Finny. Nice one. We're building a bit of rapport here. So I'm guessing H will be to open the door, uh, open the. Uh, pull, up, pull out the gun, sorry. And uh, holding the mouse button will be to choose my gun as well. Oh, I've got something here. Let's uh, check what this is. It's a newspaper. One year since the crash. Let's read this. Worst panic in Wall Street. Oh, okay. I thought it meant a car crash, but it's on about the depression. Yeah, unemployment. No wonder people are working for the mob bosses and stuff. Right, let's... Uh I was going to grab that other thing to the left. You, you, you know how to g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through, reach inside, easy. And an afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. Okay, so we're learning how to get into a car Come on, by... Come Tommy. Show me what Hold you can me. do. Okay, oh, it's car. You got it. I guess we can do that Have a good instead day, of uh, for fellas. getting the police on us next time. So this probably will be the last mission this video. We'll see how it goes. First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. I'm sure we could go that way, but the map is not really just in, so we just go this way. I'm loving this game, man. If you're liking it too, don't forget to hit that like button. It does give me some more recognition and push you. What's going on? I thought I heard some car crash out there. And if there's any other games you'd like to see me play, let me know. I'm going to play all the other games released this year. The next game we're going to play is Star Wars Wars on the 2nd of October. Then after that, I did buy Metro Redux at a really cheap price because it was on discount for £17. 
on I did have a ten pound discount on Epic Games because it was rocking you can get a ten pound discount if you get it early. So I managed to pick it up for seven pounds uh Metro Exodus. I've been to play that for a while so I'm recording that and then I'm also got uh more shops leading after that. Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Okay, let's do this. Something's gonna go wrong at some point, which way we're going into the bread shop. Into the bakery. Why do I call it a bread shop? It's a bakery. Uh, Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha! That's a okay, let's read this quickly. This letter is a notification you had uh, payments on agreed loan. The amount has been overdue since July 15th, 1930. Unless you, unless the full amount is received within two weeks. Oh, okay, so he's, uh, he's running A little out. now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without payment? You gonna get the dough or what, Tom? Okay, let's Where's the money? Teron, fetch up! in sangue! It's on the table, brown envelope. Table, brown envelope. Okay, there we go. I just adjust in my mind. Yeah, the queen. The shot that you budget. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your ma. Huh? Okay, this shop's not gonna stay afloat. He's got loans to be paid out to the bank. Let's get in. Oh wait. Are we not getting in? Oh yeah, we are. Wait, where's you this? Oh, he's right in the back. I was gonna say. Where we headed Okay, to? next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Also, if you do want to see more comments, you get the guy used to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. The guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs they're in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. Lancers moves in Empire Bay. Again, what a surprise. I think we should find this on the first soldier. Crazy driver. There is a police car behind us, so try and get out of here as fast as possible. But yeah, I was saying, if you do want to see more commentary, let me know. Because sometimes, I don't know what to really talk about. I am new to doing these gameplay videos. I'm gonna do a full walkthrough of this game, so we need to worry about that. But um, I, I am gonna be playing those games as I was saying before. So in November time, it's gonna be called, it's gonna be Assassin's Creed, there's gonna be Cyberpunk. And I'm not too sure about other games about that. I might play uh, Dark Pictures, Little Hope, I think it's called. This is it. That comes out next watch on TV. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Okay, we'll see why he's... he's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. I'm fine. Keeps him happy. I guess something's gonna go wrong here. Yeah, there we go. Jeez. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. Okay, 
go look at the... Oh, there we go. Salieri told Here he comes. Him. He's a fast worker. I'm guessing there's going to be some repercussions from this. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And eh, nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard? Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew <laughs> I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before I lost heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's going to rock the boat. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee-deep in shit in most times. Okay. There it is. Finally. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to beat information out of I gotta get you to a doctor! Ah, I can wait! Get Sam out of there! Okay. Okay, just hang on. Shit, let's pull out. Go now. Find a way into the motel. Let's just go through the front door. I guess it's not gonna work. Shit, we need to get in quick time and kill these guys. Let's go around this way. Who wrecked the motors? Give me a name. Press X to see. Oh, it looks like he's up top. Oh no, shit. Place is as quiet as the grave. Next time I'll tell him. We'll hide the gun for the time being. 
Okay, we can do that to aim. That's fine. Alright, let's let's get through here. And get to come guys. healed. How come I don't get to come healed? I want to kill this guy. Anything in here for us? I don't want to miss any of the cards or anything. Uh, I guess it's my turn. Okay, so there's nothing in here by the looks of it. Right. Ooh, is that a shot with a gun? Nice. Page down to switch guns. Okay. You keep the shotgun on for the time being. Uh, we'll hide the gun. Alright, let's kill this guy. <coughs> nice one. He's gonna get his gun. No, he's got a revolver too, so we won't get any of that. It's a good thing we're exploring though, otherwise we wouldn't have got that uh, shotgun. Let me put the uh, shotgun back on actually. Right, go through here. Gonna cause havoc with this bad boy. Okay, I think that's all the rooms up here. Done and dusted. We'll check this last one. Ooh, huh? Damn! Don't lay you out. Go find the ones. Service revolver. Gotcha. Shouldn't be here. Let's just keep this one. Won't mess with us again. No. Kill him. No part bringing a knife to go. So much fight. better than guns. Let's see what we got here. We got a knife, we got Molotov cocktails. Uh, we'll keep the knife over the bar, I think. Left control to take the cover. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Get blasted. Look at that. That animation is pretty sick, but they're all in over there. What's this? Uh, I want to collect every collectible I possibly can. You know, I'm a, exp a completionist. A trust figure in Lost Haven, owner of boatyards and industries, employed to thousands. Oh, this is just a card. Come on, Morello says we don't want a war. No, yet. This don't feel like a war to you. Get these bastards. They killed him. Uh, made him hurt. There's some outside as well. We need to grab that health if we can. Let's check uh, back here. We're running out of shotgun shells here as well. Where's the health at? I'm sure there's... Uh, that's a gun, we don't want that. I'm sure there was health back here somewhere. I don't know, let's just go through here. Oh yeah, there is. It's on the other side of the wall. There's a guy outside. Let's grab this quickly. E to interact. There we go. Nice one. Full health. Uh, there's a guy outside here, I think. Let's uh, kill him. Good night. Now they're coming after me. I've got such bad aim. He's coming after me. Let's kill this guy. There we go. That's how you do it. Reload. Right. We don't have too much ammo here, but I'm enjoying these action scenes. Let's let's go straight for our guy. Damn. They really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Come on. You'd be alright. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. He's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Looks like we're on chase right here. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money! Is he in the car? Oh no, he's out there. He's cleaning it out. Go grab him. Gotcha now! Shoot my friend. Let our... Oh, I've got him in. I'm going to watch him. What's the matter? I thought we had uh, the set on that one. Let's try and kill this guy. Keep loud, go down a bit more. Get him! 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 Get him!
That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took so off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. This one we seriously got involved in the shit, didn't we? Right, let's continue. See the cutscene and then I'll probably end it there. We'll see how it is. Intermezzo. 1938. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabby to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, dumb. Tom Morello, I, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. Saying this is my fault. No, 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 sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. His grills look bent up, is all. I mean, I got a cousin again. <laughs> One fucking crazy guy. Uh, someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Merle made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street, head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Salieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We were running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect, small time. But... I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Okay, so I'll probably go here. Fair play, 1930. So we're going back to the past again. Let's just see this. Tommy, place. thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Yeah. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. 
the kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Nice, okay, I guess sure we gotta thing. steal the car. Your pop let Let's you just the uh, head out of here you and we will like in the video. We got another thing here. Race Ray approaches. I've heard about this mission that it was very difficult in the original game. Uh, the Grand is staying in the spot in Calendar. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is a that big, big race that's about to happen. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, he drove you home. Oh, yeah. Christ, that was some night. <laughs> For you, maybe. But those broads, not so much. Help you, Tom? Nah, just looking around. I saw you talking to the Don, so you know what to do. He didn't say, go look around. Okay, then. Uh, I'm gonna head out of here. Ah, you're lucky you got me on a good day, Tommy Angelo. Hey, ignore what Sam was saying. Those parakeets Tom, were singing just for dog. me. So now do as he asks. Okay, let's just stand out here and so I'll end it. Five, six. Hey, hey, buona sera, Tommy. All right, so if so you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash the six, subscribe button and the like button. What's already been and I'll catch you guys in the next part, which will be out soon. I'm going to try and complete this game as fast as possible. But... Make sure you hit that notification bell to keep up to date with the rest of the videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.